It is Monday and I'm starting the vlog here and I have on this Christmas red pajama top. Not how I wanted to start the vlog, but life happens and here we go. Um, it is 5.30 on Monday night. Um, I'm going to make, we're going to make some dinner. I'm waiting for Mitch to get home because I'm going to try to convince him to eat something other than what we had planned because I don't feel like cooking. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get some work done. Happy Tuesday. So I don't think that I vlogged much yesterday. I think I just did a little intro. Um, but we didn't have much going yesterday. What did we even do yesterday? Work. Yeah, it's Monday. I know. Work. Yeah. No shows on or anything. No. Right? We just worked. Um, and that's what I'm doing now. I am going to edit a YouTube video. Oh, I know what I was thinking of. We made those brownies yesterday. Oh yeah, they actually turned out good. They did. I had them when I got home. Oh, did you? Yeah, you I just. Do. I just had a little scoop. I haven't even tried them yet. Go try them. They were really weird. They're these grain-free brownies, and the way they cooked, it was like a layer of oil-looking like liquid on the top. But then you let them cool, and they were—they're like normal brownies. Yeah, you definitely think at first they're pudding. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like pudding or something, and then you just let them cool, and it's normal. It was really weird, but they do taste really good. So um, that's what we did yesterday that I was trying to think of. But I am currently going to—I got my camera so I could take the memory card and put our latest Showtime Media video on here. I'm gonna edit that, and. Yeah, for now, that's that's all I'm doing. We'll wait until Mitch um, tries it so you can if he likes, see if he likes it. Yay or nay? Yeah, they're good. They're not like the brownie that you're, you hope for, though. They're more, they're more fudgy. Yeah, I'd say they're like fudge brownies. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're like fudge brownies. They're not like cake brownies. Which uh, I like better. Oh. This with some ice cream? Mmm. We could take the ice cream bar off of the and mix it with popsicle brownies. stick yeah, and heat that brownie idea. up and mix it. Ooh. Oh, well, that's, that's what's going to happen tonight. Okay. I'll have to show you guys what we end up doing. We just like to think of, like, little things to do. This is us and ice cream and brownies. What's that? Or What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. It's currently Wednesday. It is 72 degrees out here in Nashville and we're going to get some pizza. And sit outside. Hopefully. In February. In February. It's almost March. Yeah, but it's still February. It's still February. So yeah. Happy Wednesday or whatever day it is when you're watching this. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Today is my birthday. I am officially 24 today. Holy crap, that is weird. Um, it's just so weird that I'm closer to 25 than I am to 20. It feels like I'm still 22 and that was two years ago. I just can't believe it. Um, sorry, I'm cutting my head off. I feel like that's just what everyone says. It's just so weird getting older. Um, I mean, I'm fine with getting older. I really don't care. I feel like the older you get, the wiser you get. So that's fine with me. Um, but it's just weird. It, my dog will not stop barking at me. Like, does she not? Do you not know it's my birthday? Yeah, it's my birthday. So can you stop? Can you stop? Yes or no? Yes or no? I think it's a no. Or is that a yes? Whatever, you're cute. Zoom back up before I flip it. I can see. <clears throat> She's gonna go in a cage. Anyway. Yeah, 
So, birthday plans include dinner and TV shows and not doing any work tonight. And that's what my birthday plans include for today. But this weekend I'm gonna go shopping and go out with some friends and go out to lunch. I'm sorry, I'm thinking in my head. This weekend I'm gonna go shopping. I am gonna go out to lunch and I'm gonna go out with my friends. So I'm so excited because I haven't done that in so long. I haven't gone shopping or anything in Nashville in so long and I'm so excited because I just love exploring our city because we live in such a cool city. So I'll take you along for that. And yeah, that's it. I'm, on, I'm online shopping now um, because I told myself I was gonna come home and I wasn't gonna do any work. So I'm keeping up with the Jordan and Kylie and Chloe drama. Um, I just subscribed or liked or followed or whatever Jada's um, Facebook page, Red Table Talk, so that I can know exactly when Jordan's interview's up. Because I gotta watch it. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Now I'm online shopping and I just want all of it because I haven't bought new clothes in so long. That's the problem is when you don't buy new clothes in so long, you want everything because you don't own anything like the new stuff that's out right now. So I'm just looking and I'm like, mm, I want it all. Anyway, gotta go decide what I wanna buy and Hopefully my dog will stop barking at me and hopefully Mitch will get home soon because I'm starting to get hungry. All right, I'll pick this back up and we'll open my present together. I'm gonna film it and yeah, I'm so curious. Okay, actually I'm gonna talk about this. I'm so curious what he got me um, because I saw the box and it's a pretty decent sized box. It's not like a small package or anything. But there was tape on it that said fragile. And that really confused me. Because, I mean, all the stuff that I say that I want, it's like clothes and shoes and bags. And I just can't imagine that what he got me in the box was kind of heavy medium. I just don't know what he would have gotten me that says fragile. So... I don't know. I think it's a speaker and I, I don't know. That's my guess. He says it isn't, but I kind of think it is. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to online shopping and hopefully my dog will start barking at me and I'll pick you back up. So Mitch did not get me a speaker for my birthday. I did not record myself opening it, which I totally should have. But I knew as soon as he brought the box down what it was. Um, I still don't know why it was marked fragile. I think that's weird. But I'm gonna give him the camera and I will show you guys. I can't take them off. Hint, hint. So gorgeous. So, no, no. What? Flip the camera around and film it like a normal person. Film myself? No, me. Oh. Okay, can, there's a dog. Can you see these gorgeous boots? Yeah. And I Look put them on that. with this awesome sweatpants outfit. Look at that. Is the lighting good enough? Good enough. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> My gosh, it's been a minute. Um, I don't remember the last footage that I filmed. I think it was me showing you guys my new boots that Mitch got me for my birthday. Um, I'm obsessed with them. And it looks like the weather is supposed to be nice here on Sunday, so hopefully I'll get a chance to wear those. It's nice out right now, but um, I just didn't wear them today. Anyway, uh, yeah, so today is Wednesday, and um, I'm just going to do a little recap of my birthday 
weekend, um, I was really, really sick to my stomach, like the whole entire weekend. Um, so we didn't get to go out to eat. We, we did go to drinks with friends and I was good for that. But I think the pizza that we had, um, that you saw made me really, really sick. So yeah, oh, that really stunk. Um, but we did end up going to drinks with friends at this bar called the Patterson House. And I'm going to find, if I can, I don't know if they even have photos. I will try to insert them here. Um, if they if they do I will put the Patterson house linked in the description so you can go if you're in Nashville or you can plan to go if you're coming to Nashville because seriously it's the coolest place I've ever been it's a speakeasy prohibition bar and you put your name on the list it's you it's not marked you can't tell what it is but you go in you put your name on the list like reservations and you don't get to go in until there's enough seats for you and there's no standing, and you can't order a drink standing. There's all these rules that they have that you can read. I'll link the little article um, below. But it was really, really cool, and the drinks were amazing. Like, handcrafted, some of the, like, my friend's drinks, they were shaving the ice down, and it was amazing. Like, there was fresh nutmeg grated on my drink. Um, I just couldn't, couldn't have better things to say, and I can't wait to go back. But yeah, we did that to celebrate my birthday and that was so nice. Um, thank you to my friends who came out with us. That was so much fun, Justin and Sam. I'm, I'll link Sam's um, blog below. She has her own blog and I'll link her Instagram too. She's so cute. And um, anyway, so yeah, um, that's what's been going on. I'm finally feeling so much better. Um, it was just like, I have bad stomach issues. So it was just like a flare up, I guess you would say. Uh, what else? Busy, busy. Got lots of stuff to do. Uh, what should I, I don't even know what I should do first. Snack. I have a snack. I bought some pickled chips at the store yesterday, and, um, they're my favorite. So, I'm gonna have a snack, look at my to-do list, see what I gotta do. And yeah, Bentley, you can't have pickle chips. You can't have chips. Say hi. Oh, you're cute. All right. For dinner, we decided we're going to Chipotle. Do you have the gift card? Yep. Who's it from? I have no idea. It's just in my wallet. The gift card. Um, we were debating on whether or not we think Chipotle is healthy. I think it just depends what you get. It can be extremely unhealthy if you want. Like with cheese and sour cream? And a tortilla? Yeah. Then it's mm -hmm. unhealthy. If you get no cheese, no sour cream, brown rice, I guess. I mean, that's a debate we can have. I don't know. Brown rice or white rice? White rice is just like white bread. There's nothing in it. But like... No, I think that's why I'm going to make myself quinoa when I go. Yeah, but I'm just saying like a Chipotle, like if I get rice, black beans, greens, chicken, guacamole, that's not that unhealthy. A little salsa on there, not that unhealthy. It's not the most healthy thing that you can eat, but it's not that unhealthy. If you're working out Chipotle with no tortilla, no sour cream, no cheese, pretty good meal. True. I would say. All right. If well, you're not working out, then you would probably make you a fatty. That's where we're going. <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> so, check you later. Check you later. Catch you later. Catch you later. <laughs> Got the goods. Secured the goods. Secured the goods. And I did not, I got rice. I'm not <laughs> gonna make quinoa cause I'm lazy. I just know it's gonna take us so long to get home. It's not really lazy. It's, you wanna eat when it's dinner time. Yeah. When you buy dinner, you don't wanna cook dinner. That's the purpose.
purpose of buying them. It's true. It's not lazy. That's just common sense. Once we get our Instapot fixed, hopefully these nights won't be so common. Because that's the whole point of the Instapot. <laughs> Can you cook rice in the Instapot? Yeah. Interesting. We're having ourselves a little coffee table date. Just what we do. Yum. Blurry. Oh, I'm excited. Yum. Happy Thursday. Just changed into some comfy clothes. I went to the grocery store after work and I just got, oh, I just got the groceries all loaded up. Loaded up. No, I just got them all put away. And I am currently heating up some leftover Chipotle from tomorrow and I'm going to prep some celery and turn on ugh, and turn on the Kardashians. So yep, that's what I'm doing. Mitch is out to drinks for work, so I'm just going to make some dinner and get some stuff prepped in some Kardashian time before he comes home. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Oh, I have a funny story. Um, and I will put the video right here. Enjoy. So I started adding half of a banana to my smoothie in the morning and I have frozen bananas in the freezer. Like I have a bag of half bananas split up for my smoothies. I normally make my smoothie and Mitch made it this morning. I go to put some groceries away and find this in the freezer. Um, Mitch, do you not know you have to unpeel the banana before you freeze it? <laughs> I'm prepping dinner. I've got um, Brussels sprouts here that I'm gonna cut up. I've got some um, riced broccoli and some meat. And I am going, I think I'm going to cook um, some riced cauliflower as well. I just had tons of leftover broccoli. And so I just stuck a ton of it into a food processor and just blended it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, just looks like that. So it turns into rice, but it allows you to eat so much more broccoli than you would just by eating it so you kind of can get more veggies and then that way the broccoli won't go bad. Excuse the mess in the background. Um, I'm cooking, so it's a mess, but yeah. Whew, I think I just spent like almost an hour cleaning up the kitchen and food prepping for the week. Like. I cut up all my celery and I take all the leaves off because I don't like that juice and I was running late to them this morning so I didn't get to clean my juicer. So I, ah, so I did that. And now it's time to work. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm waiting for Mitch to come home because he's out with his friend. But I might have to eat, I'm getting hungry, but we'll see. We'll see, I'll give him another like 20 minutes and if he said he's down this way then I'll wait. But I'm going to sit at our coffee table and start getting some work done. Um, I actually don't have too much on my to-do list tonight, which is really nice. My to-do list mainly consisted of doing house stuff. Um, I think it's so important to take time and get things done around the house because I cannot work or focus in a messy environment. So, yeah. You don't always have to be busy, busy, busy. You can take some time to do things that you enjoy. And sounds crazy, but I love to clean. Anyway, I'm going to get some work done and I'll see you in a bit. I just opened the door to, an a to two Amazon packages, which was an amazing surprise because they did not ring the doorbell like they normally do. But it was just my birthday, as you know, and my mom, I love coffee. 
I have a French press Mitch got me for Christmas and I have an espresso machine and just a regular coffee machine that Mitch got me for graduation a couple years ago. And my mom just got me a drip coffee, a pour over coffee um, maker. I'm so excited. And she got me the um, these things. And then um, a kettle with this. So when we bought the French press, we needed a kettle and we bought this horrible, ugly, cheapest one from Walmart. And um, I've been wanting a new one, so I'm so excited. Oh, and then the other thing that I got was my eyes have been really, really bothering me lately and I think it's from the computer screens at work and then coming home and doing work. So I ordered some um, blue light blue lens glasses they were like 12 bucks on Amazon um, so I don't know if they're gonna work I don't know if they're even cute oh wow these are big on my face but they even look blue Kind of cute, kind of really big, but whatever, we'll see if they work. They feel cheap, but I'm used to wearing real glasses, so that's what you get when you order $12 glasses on Amazon, but I guess if these work, then I'll probably get some real blue light, gl blue light lenses. Um, yep, that's it. Gonna go work and watch Kardashians. She always has to have us you know, hold her bone. You know, next generation, you know what I'm saying? And you can do it. Stay focused and stay working, hard work. You cannot cheat the hustle. The hustle knows exactly I always tell doing. her how much of a spoiled brat she is. Some dogs don't have bones, Bentley. And you get yours held for you. It is Friday morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here because I did not close out last night. I just did a workout and then hopped in bed. So. <laughs>